gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. There's a song done originally by Sam Cooke, redone by Otis Redding, Whitney Houston, Mary J. Blige, Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, Leela James. Way too many people have done this, including Al Green. And between Al Green and R. Kelly, who is in the background right now, those are the two best versions of a change is going to come. So that's going to be playing in our background, and it's going to repeat. But I'm going to turn him down because we got to have a little conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a conversation with my people. And my people know who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, I just received a call this afternoon from a young lady. She said, my name is such and such, such and such. Do you remember me? And I told her the truth. I don't. She mentioned what she had called in the past about, and it's been some time since I talked to her. And I vaguely remember the conversation. But I remember the conversation. But I don't really remember talking to her. Because I talk with too many people and I do have memory issues. We had a conversation. She wanted me to help her file the taxes. And I tried, like I've done so many times with people, to let her know that I cannot be a part of the organization that supplies the credits to you and then tell you how to file the credits. There are laws out there, people, that they will accuse us of fraud, collusion, and so many other things, racketeering, because they've already tried it. There's a buffer. I don't talk about company business over the telephone, and I don't handle company business over my telephone. That's why I tell you, Eon and SACOM, or Eon and Amer Legion, or Eon and AMCF, or Eon and all the other companies I've put together are not the same. They don't operate the same. And then I, I realized something, ladies and gentlemen. I realized what the problem is. That people don't understand business. No, 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 I'm not putting anyone down. I'm just stating a fact. And, and I, I finally got it. it it's, <laughs> there are people who are mad because I don't give you every bit of information on video. First of all, to give you all the details and all the ins and outs of anything, it would take too long. That's why I produced the empowerment series information that I think is the most vital that you need to know. Everybody wants to know, how do I get access to my TDA account? Ladies and gentlemen, everybody has a Treasury Direct account, whether you believe it or not, whether they admit it or not. Yes, you have a Treasury Direct account, but you can't get access to it because they changed the policies and procedures. I keep telling you, it's the black cat. They did it because too many people were contacting them, trying to get access, and so they needed to avoid that because you would disrupt the system. Don't take my word for it. Call them and ask them about it and see if they don't tell you that's that internet stuff. But I've already done videos showing you that the account exists. If any of you have ever received a Social Security check, and I've been one of those, and I showed you my Social Security check on video back in 2012 when I was on Social Security. I haven't been on Social Security since 2012 because I refused to get a handout from these ignorant <clears throat> excuse me, these people. But let me go ahead and explain. On that check at the very top is the amount that's in that account. Not because it's a guest, it has a dollar sign next to it. It's on your check, and every time you get one, that amount gets reduced every single time. Hold on. Let's do this. We'll, we'll go to UC Browser. Now, a lot of people don't like UC Browser, and the system doesn't like UC Browser. They said it has too many vulnerabilities, but we're going to go to UC Browser. 
to prove to you that you have an account. First, you have a social security account. That means you have securities. Social security was part of the Securities Act. And you have an account there, and there is something known as the Social Security Trust Fund. So, of course, you have securities. You don't have to go to CFR 36, uh, 363.6 to see that, or 363.10, what, 11, 20, 22, and 27. You don't have to go to each of those to find that out. Now, y'all know that we did this. We're going to do... S-S-A-F-O-R-M-445. We're just going to pull up Social Security Administration Form 445. I haven't talked about this. Pay attention from my last rectum election, 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people don't know what Social Security Form 445 is. But many of you, my people, my people, not these new people who have come and found my channel, that's why I don't advertise, because I'm not here for them. I'm here for my people. As I mentioned to you all, all right, all right. As I mentioned to you all, I asked my God to be able to help my people. Who are my people? My people are the people who care. My people are the people who want this information, and they understand that I'm not giving a handout. I'm giving a hand up, a leg up. It's not my job to teach you anything. I'm not here to teach you nothing. All I'm doing is giving information. Well, some people don't like the way the information is given. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it says right there, exit. See, the the browser has it on it. They, they're, they're all over the place. All you got to do is hit one. And you don't have to worry about it. Now, I got to put y'all... Well, we're going we're to let it take its time. Maybe it don't want me going here because you see how long it's taken. And, oh, I'm sorry, the AI system and Google has been doing that to me as of late. That's the other stuff I have to put up with and deal with. Okay, this has been happening more so now than ever before. There is something that I'm supposed to be doing, but I've been bombarded with people, helping people. I spend most of my day helping people. I spend most of my day helping people for free. Well, no, I get something out of it, so there, there, it isn't for free. But that's my choice. You don't get to call me and say, I need your help and I need it for free. You don't get to do that to me. I won't allow you to do that to me. I get to choose when I help someone at no charge, at no cost. Because the cost is to me, not to you. Uh, this is IDM, it's gonna download the file for us and then I'm gonna show you guys form number 445. The problem is they've changed the rules so you need to go back and reread the rules. When I tell you guys small claims court is your best court to go through to get some act right, small claims court is the best court for you to go through to get some act right. All right, literally, I. Guarantee you, I do. If I talked about this 2016, 17, or 18, I don't remember. I do remember the last time I looked at this. It, my recollection is 2012. Okay, when I was telling people about this form and using this form to go ahead and pay off certain things. It's not a matter of whether they accept it or not. They don't have a choice. You just have to follow the rules. You can't just use the form without reading and following the rules. You guys are not reading the rules. I just spoke with somebody. I, I spoke with the young lady today, and she was asking me to help her with a text, and I said, the information is right there. All you got to do is go read the rules. That's all you have to do. No, I don't want to update it. All you got to do is go read the rules. Follow their rules. Don't follow mine. Don't listen to my video to figure out how to do this or figure out how to do that. I want y'all to pay attention. Now, this is not a fillable PDF. Okay, that's the one thing you get to understand. And they did that on purpose, so you find a fillable one. But notice what it says here. I, we, as representatives of the organization named below, request authorization from Social Security Administration to collect fees for providing payee services in accordance with Section 205J4A. 
go and read. Don't read Title 42. Go and read the official act, 42405. So watch this, ladies and gentlemen. People say, well, why are you getting excited? Oh, God, you have no idea. 42, use SC 405. Because we don't want to just follow 405. I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to do. Cornell Law. Law Cornell. That's where you want to go. That You don't want to go to any other one. You want to go to Cornell Law. I don't care if the other ones do this. Cornell is the easiest one to go to to get what I am trying to show you. So stop being stubborn. Stop being, stop arguing with me inside your own heads. Somebody tells you this is what you need to do. Well, no, I know a better way. Then fine. If you know a better way, go listen to somebody else's video. Y'all have no idea, none whatsoever. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. This is the whole act, and this is a long act. See that right there? That's long. That means you got some studying to do. Uh-oh, uh look at there. That's what we're looking for, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to read those codes. Those codes are not accurate. There are so many mistakes in the code. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this one. Okay? We're going to go to this one. And when we go to that one, we're going to go to this one first before we go to a Google search. This one should take us right where we need to be. I got to wait because I clicked on it. And let's see if it's going to do it. Let's do it one more again. Okay. Now, there is a website that I can go to and it literally this is not going to be it this is not the pdf yeah see this is not the pdf that's what that's the problem so that's why i said we we're going to click on that one first let's move this one well no we're going to do both of y'all all right so we close both of those we come back here and we come to google all right ladies and gentlemen we're not looking for Ohio. We're looking for the U.S. Uh, the statute at large. So we're looking for where it says stat uh, 624. Is it 624? 624 is the stat we're looking for. Statute at large, house code. We're going to go here. And the reason why we went here is because I gotta give me a second so I can tell y'all where y'all need to go. One second, ladies and gentlemen. When you're looking up a statute at large, you're gonna go to us dot code. I mean, us code, us code one word dot house dot gov forward slash stat viewer s t a t viewer dot h t m. Don't worry about all the rest of this. Just that's all you want is this right here. You don't have to put the question mark. You want to go to uscode.house.gov forward slash stat viewer dot htm. That will be here. So what you do is you put the volume, the first number, which will be 49. And here you put the page number, which is 624. Okay. So this talks about payment of aged individuals not qualified for benefits. Understand that there shall be paid in a lump sum to any individual who upon attaining the age of 65 is not qualified, is not a qualified individual and amount equal to three and one half percentum of the total wages determined by the board to have been paid him with respect to employment after December 30th, 1936 before he attained the age of 65. Now, that's not the section we're referring to in that section, but payable to estates. Amount of $500 or less payable to estates. This is where you get that $250 thing from, ladies and gentlemen. When a person dies, they call it an administrative fee. Okay, method of making payment. The board shall from time to time certify to the secretary of the treasury the name and address of each person entitled to receive payment 
under this title. This is the whole so-called social security system, people. That's why you had so many statutes underneath this right here. So let me tell you what you're going to do. Hold on. Get on back to the first page. No, this is the page right here, but this is not the page we want. Give it a second. I got to refresh it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the thing said something about J on the form. So let's go back to the form and let's see what it is. J4A. Okay. So that's 10. So we know we're going to be going up. Nope, that's not it. That's two, let's go one, that's R. So we have quite a ways to go up because J is a long way from R. Then we're going to get off of this and I'm going to continue the conversation I was having earlier. I'm only doing this now, like I said, to let people know that it's impossible for me to tell you guys everything. First, most of you wouldn't listen anyway. You can't listen past three, four, five minutes. That's why I don't tell you a lot. But your videos can be an hour long. You better believe they can be an hour long. That's letting you know that sometimes it's impossible to do a four-minute video explaining everything. But then people want to be spoon-fed. They want the information. They don't want to work. They want somebody else to give them everything. That ain't going to happen here. That's not my job. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not my job. We're only going to be 30 minutes on this video. And the information that I'm giving here now, I do have a software that I talked about earlier. This is J. Now we got to go to four. Ladies and gentlemen, I do have a program that I talked about that does the videos and breaks them down into little segments. Give me a second to get to. See, that's a Roman numeral, but we're looking for the number four. And I don't, I, that's different because interesting that's d e and it's supposed to be j four a oh that's three so we're almost there y'all lord have mercy look at all of this you'd have to read through to get to number a qualified organizations let's see what fits in a qualified organization hold on a second ladies and gentlemen okay ladies and gentlemen sorry i had some food cooking and i had to turn the food up, uh, turn the food down, sorry, because I need it to be ready by the time I finish this video in less than 12 minutes. A qualified organization may not collect a fee from an individual for any month with respect to which the commissioner of Social Security or the court of competent jurisdiction has determined that the organization misused all or part of the benefits of the funds. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to know what a qualified organization is. That's why we're doing this. I need to know what a qualified organization is. So this is AI. Except this provided in the next sentence, a qualified organization may collect from an individual monthly expenses, included overhead, incurred by such organization. Now pay attention. Every time you guys go and get any type of service, with the state, with the county, anything, this is what they're doing. Wait a minute, shouldn't you also qualify as a qualified organization? Well, that's what you have to do the research on. And if you can document that you qualify as a qualified organization, even if you set up a nonprofit corporation and you qualify within the realms of this, then follow the law, people. That's the first thing. I, I need to finish this in 10 minutes. See y'all in a minute. Need to finish this in 10 minutes. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Or give me a second. I got to talk to the folks, okay? So you just hold on. Um, let me tell you, there was a video that I watched. It was a young man. They were talking about debt. The secrets the debt collectors don't want you to know was the basic title the secrets the debt collectors don't want you to know and I watched that video and there were some things that the individual said in there that I agree wholeheartedly with but the individual doing 
that was the host doing the interview, the guest said two things that struck a chord with me. He said that he went and read the book, Rich Man, Poor Man. Really? Hold on one second, y'all, if y'all don't mind. Well, no, I think I think I can show it to you. I think the video will be here. No, that's that ver verification. So give me a second. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen, for this to pop up. This is the video right here. And I said in a video yesterday, if you take this title and you put it up here and you do it. See, I just messed up when I did that. <laughs> let's do that again. Let's let's see if I can do that and it'll go up here right. Nope, that gives me that. And I don't want that because that's the, that's not going to do. Well, let's do that. Let's see if that'll work. Nope, I thought so. So you're going to take the title of that video right here. The Secret to Debt Collectors Don't Want You to Know, and you'll see both videos. But this is the gentleman who made the comment. And he makes the comment saying that he read through the book. I believe it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, see, it is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The problem is, as a kid... I saw the television series, Rich Man, Poor Man, and I was very interested as a kid in Rich Man, Poor Man, but it had nothing to do with the movie, I mean with the book. However, on YouTube, give me one second, and this gentleman mentions it, I don't remember his name, so I apologize to you, sir, R-I-C-H-D-A-D, -D. then we put in... P-O-O-R-D-A-D, -D. and we're looking for the audiobook. It's six hours long. I would encourage every single one of you that are watching this right now to take a look at it. Now, I got to put y'all on pause for one more second. Got to go check it. One second. Yes, you guys. 
good. Go one you got room. Because the information in this book is priceless. Now, see, hold on. I don't have the same view that they have. You see, because I don't strive after nothing. I don't want to be rich. But I know I'm not poor. I know when I grew up as a child, I was poor. But hold on now. I want to make sure you understand something. I know what my family Because even my family, my father and mother were like, that's not the way I grew up. That's not the way I grew up. When I was told my father about the area of life, he was talking about the rest of the world. Now you can tell me that you don't agree with me. Why are you doing that? How do you feel? Like the day is coming to me. After a few years, the Bible says, I know how to humble myself. But you don't know what to do. Because you see, Talk boys. We crossed the street, dodging a few cars, and walked across a large grassy field where a few adults were playing softball. Sitting down at a lone picnic table, he handed Mike and me the treats. How's it going, boys? Okay, Mike said. I nodded in agreement. Learn anything yet? Rich Dad asked. Mike and I looked at each other, shrugged our shoulders, and shook our heads in unison. Avoiding one of life's biggest traps. Well, you boys had better start thinking. You're staring at one of life's biggest lessons. If you learn it, you'll enjoy a life of great freedom and security.
Remember, they're creating money out of thin air. They can create value out of thin air. So inflation should never be. I keep saying that there's no money, so how is there inflation if nobody's creating money? that you've written, but you know who you want money on is too. So all you got to do is your 1099 C's and I'll give them the debt that they never apply to your account. But you guys, you're not listening to me. Oh, that's so difficult. I don't want to get in trouble. How can you get in trouble? Go back and read IRS tax topic 453. It tells you. If somebody owes you a debt or if the debt was incurred as a part of your business, then it's a bad debt and you can write it off. But you guys are not listening. You want something spectacular. You want something to pop up in front of you and say, aha! And that's what you want. Don't listen to me. Your arbitration agreement is the best thing. Take your time. Read it now. Rich people don't file income tax. Then go over here to a company. So you pay yourself a salary if you're a sole proprietorship. You pay yourself a salary. Everything else is deferred income. You pay yourself a premium for the price of your company. All of our companies have to pay their own share of the tax. That's not true. What you're paying is nothing. See, this is how we make 